Hello everyone, welcome to MS Optive Webcast. In this video, I am going to show you the simple steps to create remote desktop certificate template in the Windows Server 2019 certification authority and how to deploy it using group policy. Remember, this is a test environment created in VirtualBox so you can have an idea about the configuration steps. I am using the same test lab which we have used in the last video. This is our domain controller for mylab.local domain or the host name ws2k19-dc01. On this server, we have installed and configured Enterprise Root Certification Authority. For this demo, we have one member server as well. This is our member server which is part of our mylab.local Active Directory domain with the host name ws2k19-srv01. On this server, already I have enabled remote desktop. Let's click on it. As you can see, the remote desktop is enabled with network level authentication. And already firewall exception are also in a place. Before we start configuration, let me show you something. From domain controller, I am going to take a remote desktop of our member server. Let's type mstsc in a run menu and press enter key. Here I am going to specify the IP address of our member server which is 172.18.72.9. Let's click on connect. Here I am going to specify the password for our mylab slash administrator account. And let's click on the ok button. Here we are interested in certificate. So let's click on view certificate and here you can see this is a self-signed certificate which is issued by its server itself to local server. Fine. So this is the certificate which we have before the configuration. Fine. Now let's click on OK button and click on no because we are not going to take remote desktop. Now let's open certification authority management console because we are going to create a new template for remote desktop authentication. Let's click on tools and select certification authority. Let's expand our CA and let's click on certificate template. Right click on certificate templates and select manage. That is going to open a certificate template management console. From this console, we are going to copy the computer certificate template. And by using this certificate template, we'll create a new certificate template for remote desktop authentication. Right click on computer certificate template and select duplicate template. On the console, you can change the compatibility as per your requirement, but for the stage environment, I'm not going to change it. Now, the first thing which we are going to change is on general tab. Let's click on general tab. Now, here you need to specify the template name which you want to display. For this demonstration, I'm going to give name RDP authentication. Fine, this is the name for our certificate template, RDP authentication. Remember, you will need this name when you configure group policy. Here we have a settings related to validity period and renewal period. You can change this as per your requirement. I'm also going to select publish the certificate in an active directory. Fine, now we are going to click on extensions tab. And here you can see under application policies, you can see client authentication and server authentications are there. I'm going to modify it. So let's click on edit button. And the first thing which I'm going to do is let's remove client authentication application policy. So select it and click on remove it. Now we need to add remote desktop authentication application policy, which is not created by default. Let's click on add. We need to create it. So for that, we need to click on new button. Now here we need to specify the name of new application policy which will be a remote desktop authentication in our case. Fine. Now we need to specify the object identifier associated with that application policy. For remote desktop authentication, you can find the object identifier from Microsoft TechNet website as well. I am also going to mention this object identifier number in a description area as well. This is the object identifier for remote desktop authentication. Fine. Let's click on OK button. And already that application policy is selected. Let's click on OK. 
So now, as you can see, we have a remote desktop authentication and server authentication application policy for our this new template. Let's click on OK button. Now I'm going to click on security tab. And first of all, I'm going to click on domain computers because by default, all computers account a member of this group domain computers. As you can see, the enroll permission is there. See, if you want, you can also add a specific group to assign permission as per your requirement. One more thing which I'm going to change here is I'm going to give a read permission as well. Fine. Now let's click on request handling tab. And here I'm going to select allow private key to be exported. The next thing which we are going to change is on cryptography tab. Here I'm going to specify the minimum key size to 4096 bit. Let's click on apply and click on OK. So in future, if you want to modify any settings that time, you simply need to select that certificate template, right click on it and go for the properties. You can change the settings as per your requirement. Fine. So now we have RDP certificate template ready, but before we can use it, we need to issue this template to our local CA to assign. So now I'm going to close this certificate management console and on certification authority console, we need to right click on certificate templates, click on new and select certificate template to issue. Now here we need to select newly created certificate template which we have created for remote desktop authentication. This is the certificate, select it and click on OK. Now our local CA can issue certificate requested from remote desktop template. Remember the name that is RDP authentication. So the next part is configuring the group policy object to utilize the new template. For this demonstration, in Active Directory Uses and Computer Snapping, I have created one OU for the testing purpose with the name Test Server Accounts. And under that, the computer account of our member server is stored. So we are going to create a GPO and link it to this OU for the testing purpose. Now I'm going to open Group Policy Management Console. Let's click on Tools and select Group Policy Management. Expand group policy objects, right click on it and select new. You can specify the name of this GPO as you wish. For this demo, I'm giving name RDP certificate deployment GPO. Let's click on OK button. Let's select the newly created GPO, right click on it and select edit. On group policy management editor console, under computer configuration, we need to expand policies. Then we need to expand administrator templates. Click and expand Windows component. Under Windows component, you will find remote desktop services. Expand it. Under that, you will find remote desktop session host. Expand it. And then click on security. Here, certain settings are there which we need to modify. Now, the first setting is that server authentication certificate template which we need to modify. So let's double click on it. I'm going to select enable and here you need to specify the name of certificate template which you are going to use. In our case, the name is RDP authentication. Fine, so we need to specify the same exact name here. Fine, this is the name of our certificate template, RDP authentication. Click on apply and click on OK. In order to use SSL to connect to a servers, we need to configure another policy settings, which is require use of specific security layer for remote connections. Let's double click on it. Here I'm going to select it. Let's select enable. And from security layer, we need to select SSL. Fine. Let's click on apply and okay. Remember already we have enabled remote desktop on our member server. If you haven't, you can also use group policy settings to do that things as well. Now we are ready to deploy group policy object on our member server. Now I'm going to close this group policy management editor console. Let's go back to a group policy management console. And here I'm going to expand taste to you. This is the OU where we have stored our member server's computer account. So let's right click on taste server's account to you and select link an existing GPU. From group policy objects, we need to select a GPU, which is RDP certificate deployment GPU. Let's click on OK. Fine. 
group policy object has been successfully linked to our OU. Now it's time to test the result. Let's go back to our member server. I'm going to close this our manager console first because we need to update the group policy manually on this computer and then we are going to restart our member server. So let's open run menu first. Let's type cmd. Press enter key. At a command prompt, we need to type command gp update slash force. Let's press enter key. Computer based and user based policy has been successfully updated. We need to restart this computer in order to successfully apply the group policy objects. Let's close command prompt and let's restart our member server. Okay, fine. After restart, again I'm going to log in as a domain admin on our member server. Fine, let's open Notepad first. Okay, let's go back to our domain controller. On a certification authority management console, I'm going to click on issued certificates. Now here you can see a certificate which is issued to our member server. You can see the name is there, mylab slash ws2k19 hyphen sv02. And the most important thing which you can notice here is certificate template. Under certificate template, you can see RDP authentication certificate is there. Fine, so this is a certificate which has been successfully assigned to our member server. Now, let's test this by taking remote desktop connections of our member server. Let's press Windows R key and let's type command mstsc. Let's press enter key. Let's specify the IP address of our member server, which is 172.18.72.9. Let's click on connect. I'm going to specify the credential of our domain admin. Let's click on OK. Let's click on view certificate. And here you can see this certificate is issued by our local certification authority, which is mylab-ws2k19-dc01-ca. And this is a trusted certificate. Here you can see that uh, object identifier number is also there, which we have assigned to remote desktop authentication certificate template. Let's click on OK and click on Yes. As you can see, we are successfully able to take a remote desktop of our member server and that notepad which we have open on our member server is available here. So this is the way how you can create a remote desktop authentication certificate template in a Windows Server 2019 certification authority and you can use group policy to deploy that certificate to your member servers. That concludes our video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video.